International businesses have always been supported by Acumatica. You can do trading with transactions with vendors and customers in their preferred currency. Related businesses can also be managed. What's new is beginning in 21R1, we began to include multiple base currencies, which means your related entities could do business across international borders. Global businesses are those that file taxes within country tax authorities and produce basically their own set of reports. This slide shows the progress that we've made. We now have availability with CRM, deferred revenue, fixed assets, project accounting and construction modules. You see that we have some others that are in progress. Manufacturing has limited capabilities, but some in 22R1. Here's a listing of the things that you can accomplish between entities using the new multiple base currencies features. So let's take a look in the software. Within enable disable features, you'll now see that you have the ability, several of these things that were unchecked before can now be enabled. So for example, I can enable deferred revenue management. You'll notice that some modules such as payroll still throw a warning if you try and enable them. Using this set of data, I can go to my customer screen and I can see a listing of companies that are, have a base currency of US dollar. You'll also know that I have child accounts. Notice that ABC Canada has a account that can be linked to this main parent account. However, the balance cannot be consolidated because it's maintained in Canadian dollars. So let's show how some transactions would work. We'll start with the invoices in memo screen and create a new transaction. You'll notice that I only have access to US customers because I'm in the product's wholesale branch. So let's go switch this to be in Canada. But notice now that I have access to several different Canadian companies. So let's go ahead and uh, get some software. And we'll get a SaaS software solution because that'll invoke some deferred revenue capabilities. Prices and everything are calculated in Canadian dollars. And when I release this, the deferred revenue schedule should be created. After processing our transaction, let's go recognize some revenue from the deferred revenue module. So we're going to go ahead and run recognition. Now we've recognized some of the, the first month of revenue from that 12 month SAS contract. This report shows a couple things. It shows the consolidated balance in real time across US and Canadian entities. Now, in order to get the revenue that we just recognized that now appears in this Canadian dollar column, we're going to run a currency translation. So I'm going to select my process to Canadian dollars, create the translation and release it. That's going to convert all my information. Now, when I rerun this and refresh this report, you'll now notice that my Canadian dollars total has increased here. We also have a report that shows the balance sheet. Now, if I look in my other current liabilities area and drill into the Canadian dollars or even the US dollars, I'll be able to see that now the deferred revenue totals appear since we've not recognized that revenue for the transaction we just processed.